Hey there everybody, Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another edition of What's Hot with Sea of Tranquility. The show here on the channel every Wednesday where we talk about some of the uh, new releases that have come out in the worlds of hard rock, heavy metal, progressive rock, jazz, fusion, classic rock. That's kind of the musical genres that we cover here. Today we've got a brand new EP from the lead singer of Chicago's very own prog band, District 97, Leslie Hunt's Ascend. There is the uh, beautiful and very talented Leslie Hunt on the cover. Like I said, Ascend is the uh, title of her new EP. She's apparently also going to be releasing another one uh, sometime later this month. This one came out uh, earlier this summer. All right, inside we get the booklet with, uh, as I drop everything on the floor. There she is once again. All right, so we got uh, seven songs. Let me just pick everything back up here. Seven tracks. It's roughly uh, about 25 minutes long. So you get, you know, about like four or five minutes per, per song. You know, it's funny. Uh, I have long thought that Leslie is a really, really, really good singer. Of course, she was uh, an American Idol, right? So she's got some notoriety there. Uh, and she plays with a kick-ass band from Chicago, like I said, District 97, who are a great prog rock band. She's got a great voice. Every time I listen to a District 97 album, though, I, I think that there's probably other things she could be doing, right? Uh, in addition to that, I want her to stay there because I think it's a good fit. Uh, but I've long thought that she's got this voice that fits so well into other realms like pop or straight up like indie rock or stuff like that. And you hear that front and center on Ascend. Uh, like I said, seven tracks. There's this kind of feel of Americana, like Heartland rock and pop throughout this album. Think like some of Tom Petty's best stuff. Uh, think a little Alanis Morissette that sort of thing. Uh, it's not an overly rockin' album. There's a couple of up-tempo tracks. It's a very heartfelt album. There's a lot of great melodies on here. Uh, you've got uh, Starting Over, which is the first track, which is my favorite on the album. Really catchy, great melodies. Just a good, breezy, up-tempo pop rock song with great vocals. Uh, nice instrumentation. You got like, some cool keyboards and jangly guitars and this Mellotron and all that kind of stuff. Pretty cool. It's not prog. Those fans of hers who love her in District 97, it's not that sort of thing here. Uh, next track up is There You Are. That's the bigger, the biggest rock song on the album. It's not a heavy song by any means, but it's a good kind of AOR, you know, radio-friendly rock song. Catchy hooks, nice guitars, great vocals, the whole nine yards. Uh, then you got Your Wind and Wolf Cried Boy. Both feature really good electric piano, very atmospheric, much mellower, but still really melodic. Like I said, her vocals are outstanding. Outstanding. She's, she has, there's this can't miss quality. Uh, I said to, I was talking, chatting with uh, George Lemie online this morning, and we were talking about this, and I said, the, the, you listen to this once through, and the first thought that comes to mind is, why is this album, this EP, or these songs not being played all over the place? Because she's got a voice that is tailor-made ready for the masses. This is music that is tailor-made ready for the masses. I mean, it's just, there's no escaping it. This is just, this is music for everybody. This is very accessible. It's very mainstream sounding. It's very, like I said, Heartland, Americana, whatever you want to call it. This, you know, this stuff should be played on satellite radio, regular radio, whatever, in a perfect world. Uh, you, know, you got right here, down the road, very personal. A lot of these songs have this very personal feel to them. Again, a lot of good piano, electric piano on there. And then you got the key kind of finishes it all up. Also a pretty mellow track, but with some really, really nice melodies. And just an overall really enjoyable listen it's not necessarily the type of thing that i would normally listen to right but listen i know good music when i hear it whether it's something i normally is in my wheelhouse or not and i hear this and i'm thinking this lady has the goods she does for people who don't like prog and hard rock and metal and all that kind of stuff and listen just like to listen to you know catchy hooks 
you know, breezy pop instrumentation and arrangements. That's this right here. It's got it's got winter written all over it. All right. So if you like that sort of thing, if you you know on occasion kind of uh, gravitate towards the easy listening thing, you love great female vocals, and you like that kind of just breezy instrumentation and kind of really just good Americana rock and roll and pop. Leslie Hunt, Ascend, right here, folks. Right here, folks. And if you want to hear her in more adventurous music, then go check out District 97, right? But for now, this, this to me, always seemed to be where her heart kind of lies and where her strengths are. So uh, for the guys in District 97, if you're watching, I'm not trying to convince your lead singer to leave the band or anything like that. I'm just saying this is her absolutely 100% in her element. We love her in District 97 as well, but this is... This always, to me, seemed like what she's all about. Great voice. Great voice. Great songs. There you go. Check it out. It's on uh, Spirit of Unicorn Music, which I believe is a, uh, a division of, or it's distributed by Cherry Red Records. Of course, we know Cherry Red Records quite a bit here on the channel because uh, they're a big uh, prog label that uh, specializes all sorts of uh, reissues and new stuff and what have you. So this is on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, of course we're here on YouTube all the damn time as I'm ready to kind of jump into my arc and uh, pack up my animals and the family and just kind of go, uh, you know, sailing away. We've had so much rain here today in Hudson Valley, New York. It's unbelievable. Uh, I have had to empty out and backwash my pool like four times already today because we're getting like, you know, an inch of rain an hour. It's crazy. It's just crazy. So, uh, yeah, that's going to continue all night. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Very light on the What's Hot shows today because uh, I've just been real busy doing a million things and I haven't really had a chance to listen to some of the other new stuff that's come out. But we have some things on the way. A lot of you have asked, uh, when are you going to review the latest Neil Morse Band CD? Uh, that's on its way to me. So, as soon as I get it, we'll digest it a bit and uh, we'll have it for you guys. So i uh, got a bunch of other things sitting here too that I just need to find time to listen to. That's just what it's all about. So uh, just this one review today. Stay tuned for more next week. Uh, coming up tomorrow, Hudson Valley Squares. No, nope, Hudson Valley Squares is Monday. Sorry. The Monster's Den. It's been a long day, guys. Monster's Den tomorrow. Chris Allo and myself will be talking about the uh, Camp Blood series. Friday morning at the front house, Martin Popoff and myself talking about some album bombs, right? Those albums with big expectations and... They kind of did not perform as we expected, right? So that's coming up on Friday. Sunday, album homework assignment. You do not want to miss this one. Stephen Reed and Simon Bray are two favorite guys from the UK going head-to-head -head with their album homework assignments. Uh, it's already been recorded. It's going to be going live on Sunday. Strap yourselves in. This is as entertaining as it gets, folks. Uh, I haven't laughed this hard in ages so uh do not miss that on sunday trust me do not miss it that is coming up album homework assignment on sunday and then of course monday we start all over again with the hudson valley squares monday in the prog seat tuesday and the whole rest of the week so thanks for watching i am pete pardo visit us on the web at www.catranquility.org we're on facebook we're on twitter of course we're here on youtube all the damn time see you real soon and don't forget tomorrow morning and each and every day here in september favorite live album by year. Tomorrow we move on to 1969. See you then. Bye-bye.